The stock market has regained huge grounds from losses recorded the previous day. Let's join F. Young Ekop for detailed reports on markets. The nation's stock market quickly regained strength after the huge loss of over 600 billion naira recorded on Tuesday. Strong positioning of investment baskets in the equities market with the expectation of higher yields caused funds managers to book large volumes of securities in key sectors. The trade rebound recorded an upward index in the region of 1.41%, stressing strong gains on investments. Big traders with gains were Lend Africa, Golden Berries, Chalarams, John Holtz and Japal Gold. Many insurance companies stayed in red and they included mutual benefit, Lasako Assurance, Name Insurance and WAPIC Insurance. More than 10 billion naira worth of deals were crossed in the markets. On the continental level, African Development Bank has signed an agreement to give $600,000 to African Stock Exchanges Association to link trading flows of 15 African stock markets for increased rates. The linkage of African capital markets will enhance cross-border securities linkings by member nations. The African Exchanges Linkage Project aligns with African Union's agenda and the African Continental Free Trade Agreement's goal of having a liberalized market to ease movements of capital. About a thousand stockbrokers and fund managers will be trained for the linkage projects. If young Echo, TVC News, Lagos. Global shares fell today as fresh signs of China's fluttering economic recovery emerged, with traders waiting uh, U.S. Federal Reserve's minutes and a key U.S. job report later in the week for clues to the central bank's rate outlook. Following Independence Day holiday on Wall Street yesterday, European stocks slipped 0.6%, with German shares down the same amount. Wall Street was set for losses too, with S&P 500 features and Nasdaq features down 0.4%. MSCI's broadest index of Asian Pacific shares outside Japan dropped 0.7% after the Chinese data. Japan's nickel also fell 0.3% on profit taken after climbing to three decades high. Chinese blue chips fell 0.8%, Hong Kong Hang Seng index sank 1.6%. Philippine Statistics Authority says the country's annual inflation rate is for fifth straight month to 5.4% in June. Supporting expectations, the central bank will keep rates unchanged for long as food and transport cost pressure eases. The statistics agency says headline inflation is 7% lower than the 6.1% inflation in May 2023 and the lowest in the past, uh, the past 13 months. The downtrend in the overall inflation rate was due to low increase in the heavily weighted food and non-alcoholic beverages, which falls from 7.4% to 6.7%. The central bank kept its key policy rate steady at 6.25% at its last two meetings in June and May, and it signaled the rate could stay there longer with inflation on an easing trend. Finally, in business news, crude oil prices, which had been rallying on the news that Saudi Arabia will extend its production quotes, began trade today with a slight decline before WTI jumped even higher while Brent remained in the red. U.S. West Texas intermediate crude sells for $70.83 with an upsurge of 1.49%. Brent experienced a price decline of 0.66% to sell at $75.75. .75. Bonny Light recorded an uptick of 2.33% to sell at $75.16 per barrel. And for the OPEC basket, crude dealers are offering $76.14 with a price upward price review of 2.42%. But that's business news.